Hey Glam Squad, welcome back to another episode of Beginner's Guide to Makeup. So before we get into this week's lesson, I just wanted to make a quick apology for my absence here on YouTube. I did take a couple of weeks off just to deal with some personal issues, but I am back in action. And today I'm going to be creating this beautiful, easy to achieve lilac smoky eye for prominent eyes. This is also going to be a talk through style video, so you guys can let me know which style of video you prefer and find easiest to follow. So for this week's lesson, you're gonna need four different eyeshadow brushes. You'll need two blending brushes, a flat brush and a pencil brush. Of course, some matte lilac eyeshadows. And I just took a rose gold shimmery eyeshadow as well. For liner, I use the Sosu by SJ Divine Duo, which is a liner and glue in one. And then also I finished off with some lashes, which of course is optional. I'm using my own collection of lashes and these are in the style Nicola. We're going to start off by using this beautiful fluffy blending brush and I've dipped into a little bit of the lilac matte shade which you can see here and we're going to start off by applying this color on the crease of the eye so I'm going to look down into my mirror and I want the color to kind of be applied here the main part of the color here and then we're going to start buffing it up I want this to be like really blown out so we're going to bring it up quite high but the main part of the color is going to be here on the crease and then it's just going to be kind of gradually fading out okay so I'm holding the brush at the end of the handle for the least amount of pressure and control and we're just going to start like tickling the brush against the skin and kind of swirling so you're like tickling and doing little swirling motions you see a very small amount of product is going to be applied here and that's perfect because I'm just working on getting the shape first. I'm going to dip into a little bit more, tap off the excess. Again, tickle, tickle and swirl. So I'm just focusing on getting the shape of the shadow first. So by doing the like gentle swirling motions, I'm following the natural shape of my eyes. This is gonna be slightly different on everyone and that's totally okay. So you're just following the natural shape of your own eye that will complement you. So now with no extra product or anything, we're just gonna tickle around the edges and this is just going to smooth the edges but also kind of spread the color a little bit more. So it's gonna be like it's kind of like buffing it out and blending it up towards the brow bone. So you're getting that blown out smoky look, getting rid of those harsh lines. So you're not going to see like a big white line here where the, the eyeshadow stops. I'm now going to just kind of build the color slightly more. I want this to be like a soft kind of a lilac smoky eye. So I don't want a lot of pigment, but I do want a little bit more. And I want there to be separation as well. Like you want this part to be darker than the crease area. So I just want to build that up just a tiny bit more. So I'm just gonna follow the same steps, just tickling it in the crease until I'm happy with that intensity. It's better to apply less color and build it up slowly than applying too much because you can't exactly take it off, especially with eyeshadow. It's just kind of a slower process if you want that professional finish. So now I'm gonna focus on the lid of the eye and building up that intensity. So I'm just gonna swap up my brushes now. So I'm gonna use a smaller blending brush just because it's more comfortable and it kind of fits on the eye better and you'll get a little bit more pigment than using the larger style fluffy brush. I always prefer this for the crease area and then swap it up for something a little bit smaller for the lid. So I'm dipping into that same eyeshadow, but I'm using the flat side of the brush. So you wanna tap off the excess and look down into a mirror, close your eye and just start tapping. So you want to like tap and wiggle, tap and wiggle. So this is going to press on that matte shadow. Uh, if you are like buffing and blending, because it's a matte eyeshadow, they can go a little bit patchy or a little bit weird on you. So that's why you want to use the pat and wiggle technique. And you're using the side of the brush because it's going to apply a lot more product. It's gonna make it a lot more pigmented. 
So if you want the colour to be a little bit sheerer, you can use the top and just kind of use like patting motions. And then you can gently kind of buff it out to smooth out the colour. But just keep in mind that matte shadows can go a little bit patchy if they're over blended. So that's the eyeshadow done on the lid for now. I'm now going to work on the lower lash line. So I'm taking this pencil brush and again dipping into that same matte eyeshadow, tapping off the excess. We want to hold it, say, in the middle of the handle because we want a little bit more pressure here. And I'm just going to start blending this on the lower lash line, keeping it close to the root of the lashes. And because your hand is kind of higher up on the brush, you want to get a lot more pigment and have a lot more control here. So you can leave it like this if you'd like, but I'm going to go in with a flat eyeshadow brush and just kind of a rose gold kind of sheer glitter eyeshadow. And just going to tap off the excess. And I'm just going to just apply the smallest amount just here in the inner corner of the lower lash line. It's really subtle, but I just thought it'd be nice to do something different. You could also apply this shimmer in the inner corner of the eye, or you could dip in using your ring finger and just pat it on the lid of the eye just to add a little bit of shimmer there as well. So next I'm going to be taking the Sosu by SJ Divine Duo. This is actually a liner and a glue in one, which is really handy because my lashes are just going to attach like Velcro and I don't have to worry about applying them. So I'm just going to do a very thin wing. So I'm going to follow my lower lash line and I actually do have a full video on how to apply winged liner on prominent eyes which I will leave linked up above. Now I'm going to look down into a mirror and I'm just going to line my lid. I'm going to be using the Sosu by SJ Eye Voltage Mascara which just launched today and I'm just going to be coating my eyelashes with this. I'm going to be taking the Nicola lashes from my birthday collection using my lash applicator. This is like literally a lifesaver for applying lashes because you have like a wider base than using tweezers. So it makes them so much easier to apply. You have like a lot more control. Okay, we're going to look down and I'm just kind of measuring it up before I touch the liner because it's going to stick straight away. Like so. I like to start at the outer corner and we're just going to drag it, drag and press, like so, and then go grab the inner corner and press it down. Just as a final step to finish off the look, I'm going to be taking this Morphe pencil uh, in the shade Coconut, it's just a white pencil, and I'm just going to run this on my lower lash line. This is just going to tie the whole look together, but also it's going to make your prominent eyes pop. So it's really great to complement them. If you do feel your eyes are too prominent or protruding, then I would opt for a black or a brown instead of a white because a white is going to make them look more prominent. So that is the finished look. You guys can let me know what you thought of this talk through video. It does make the video longer but I don't know if you guys find it easier to follow or is it a little bit too much information you can let me know in the comment section don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave of course it will mean the world to me and I hope I get to see you in my next one bye